It has been said that we die twice in this life. The first time when we stop breathing. The second time is when we are forgotten. That is why we must tell the stories of the dead. Okay, we are at the Cicero Cemetery. You just come in the front right here on the side that has this tombstone, Brady Lee Hill. Go up this gravel road about a thousand feet and look to your right and you'll see an American flag. When you see that American flag, look directly beside of it. And that is the headstone we're looking for. Ryan White was born in 1971 and throughout the 70s and 80s, medicine was not nearly as advanced as it is in present day 2024. Ryan was born with a condition known as hemophilia. Hemophilia is a condition in which blood doesn't clot right and people can actually bleed to death. And from time to time, a blood transfusion is needed and in this case, that is exactly the precursor in what happened to Ryan. He needed a blood transfusion, and in those days, donated blood was not tested for a new disease that had just reared its head throughout the world known as AIDS. It says, Kid of Courage, Ryan White, born December the 6th, 1971, passed away April the 8th, 1990. It says, turn me loose from your hands. Let me fly to distant lands. Fly away, skyline pigeon fly from all the things you left so very far behind. Love, Elton John. Gonna make a difference, gonna make it right. Friends forever, Michael Jackson. Patience, tolerance, faith, love, forgiveness, wisdom, spirit. Ryan White was diagnosed with AIDS on December the 17th, 1984. He was one of the first children one of the first hemophiliacs to come down with AIDS and it was definitely a time where there was no education and there was hardly any information on AIDS at that time. Ryan was living in Kokomo, Indiana and was attending Western Middle School at the time he was diagnosed. At this time the CDC had no precautions or anything and then all of a sudden, the CDC started putting in all kind of precautions. You know, the gloves, the gowns, the mask, and so forth. And started talking to the nurses and so forth. It became apparent just like overnight that all of a sudden, things were different. When Ryan was diagnosed, they only gave him three to six months to live. But Ryan would beat the odds and a year later he told his mom he wanted to go to school. They would fight the court systems for a year and a half before he could return to school. As we go to the back of the headstone we will read what it says. Looks like there is his signature. Let's see if I can read this. Tribute to Ryan. God gave us Ryan on December the 6th, 1971. He was born with an affliction called hemophilia. In December of 1984, Ryan was diagnosed with 
a little understood disease called AIDS. Ryan struggled to live life like an ordinary kid, became more intense because he wanted to go to school. There was not a person who knew Ryan that could ever hate him. Reverend Bud Brabasco. The children began to ask Ryan, are you afraid to die? Ryan responded, if I die, I know I'm going to a better place. Ryan White fell asleep and woke up in his heavenly home on Palm Sunday, April the 8th, 1990. A place where no one is afraid to hug. I am convinced he suffered no pain at the end, Dr. Martin Kleiman. He was a young man who taught us the meaning of courage, and I'm convinced that his life will be remembered more for what he taught us about living than the disease that afflicted him, Governor Evan Bay. Your candle burned out long before your legend ever did, Elton John. We're sure going to miss you, Ryan, family and friends. Ryan was even worried that he might have to repeat the seventh grade. The kids and the people of Kokomo were very mean and cruel to Ryan as they called him gay and said he must have done something wrong against God. Ryan's mom would move them to Cicero, Indiana, where they had more knowledge of AIDS and what it was. They treated Ryan with respect and with open arms. And eventually, laws were passed to help people that had contracted AIDS. Ryan had laid the foundation and future for people with this disease.